Let's get you started with your first SoundGrid I.O. The first step is to either create an account at waves.com or if you already have an account, log in with your credentials. The first page we take you to is your main account page. From there, you can access all your Waves products information. The tab we're interested in, though, is the one labeled Register New Products. Your serial number will be on the bottom of your hardware unit or on a registration card included in the box. You need to register your unit first so that you have access to the software driver. Once you've submitted your serial, drivers for your hardware will be registered in your Waves account and you will be asked to download Wave Central. Wave Central lets you choose what software and drivers are installed and activated on your computer. Open Wave Central, log in, and click the Install menu to install your new driver. Once the install is done, you will be asked to restart your computer. Now we've rebooted Launch SoundGrid Studio. Because this is your first install and first launch, SoundGrid Studio will launch auto configuration and take a look at what interfaces you have connected and then assign the I.O. patching accordingly. On the inventory page, which is this page, you have three racks. Rack A and B are for I.O.s and computers. Then there is the rack for DSP servers and one for controllers. Last thing on your to-do list is to launch your DAW and in your preferences, select Waves SoundGrid as your playback device. Now you know how to register and connect your SoundGrid-compatible I.O.